Cameron Beko de Sorge. So this one is um, overlooking the bridges over there. So you can see there's a few bridges. I'll try to explain those in a minute. And I'm going to be walking down this street right here and we'll be kind of uh, showing you some... Actually, we're going to go up to that spot right there. It's going to give you a little quick uh, 360 where we are exactly. But you can see um, these bridges right here. So they'll show you different stuff um, down from this university. There's more bridges up that way. And uh, yeah, basically this is all the university area. Ooh, it's kind of windy and cold too. So, um, check it all out. I'm gonna start the camera up there. COVID is over, we got Christmas music. It's December, it's 2022. And uh, we were documenting the streets of Macau and we got another street for you right here. So yeah, that street right there is our focus and it is windy and it's cold and it's, I think it's the coldest that it's been in about five or six years. So it's uh, 2022 and I think it was six years maybe, 2016 I think they mentioned something like that that the temperatures are going to be the coldest they've been in about six, five years, five, six years. Anyways, we're going to be walking down that street, give you a little view. Look at all these apartments. It's all kinds of cool stuff here. Um, these ones have these giant pillars down below. I think it's because maybe if a storm surge comes in, there's a tennis court right there. Or even, I guess, global warming, to be honest, like you just don't know. Anyways, we're kind of up on this little skyway system. This is uh, used to be the University of Macau. Now it's several different universities. So we're basically going to be starting at that spot as our starting point. And you can see into Taipa Village. Sorry, Taipa. And there's Galaxy Casino. Taipa Village is actually quite low, so you can't see it. But all those buildings over there to the right are uh, Taipa Centro. That's an apartment building that goes up into the mountains. Um, and actually, we're getting kind of deviating from our road, which is this one right here, Boa uh, Beco de, de Sorte. And we have to go down these um, stairwells to get down that way as well. Um, let me just see. I just want to give you some more context a little bit. So, um, yeah, that's kind of up into the university, my, university campuses. And I think this one right here says IFT. So Institution of Fashion Technology, there's also City University in here as well. So, okay. So what we're going to do next, that's a kind of a cool view. Yeah, I like this because this whole area, there's all these things. And when you're up in the university area too, oh, it's windy. Coming around that corner like that. But yeah, when you're in this university area, the these uh, floors are quite quirky because there's no real ground floor because we're on a hill. So we're kind of, um, everything is kind of built. So the ground floor could be the fifth floor sometimes and then it's at the ninth floor. And then it's at minus five and minus three. Because this university is built on a hill, it's kind of really quirky and interesting like that. So even like this right here will come out in one spot. But if you get, um, you know, as these hills go up, right? It just keeps changing what's actually the ground floor. So, um, anyways, Beko de Sort, we're gonna go down. We got this interesting. Oh man, it, it's cold. I'm not used to that. Okay, so there's the university. And then these are kind of interesting buildings too. I don't know, got giant windows. I think that's part of the library, so um, that's all the library right there. Pretty cool looking windows though. And now we can look down there, there's a beautiful statue. I think the statue is on private property. It's in the apartments, so I don't think anybody can get into it. But, and there's a swimming pool, tennis court. Kind of a cool street down along the water there too. I saw a leaf that's flying up in the air. Okay. Yeah, those windows are cool, the library. 
So let's head on down Boa Peco de Sort. And let's see, we're still on our Target Street, which is right there. And our plan is just to walk around the around Peco de Sort for one, which is probably going to be around the block. And you can see all these tall apartments, they look more like families than for students. I can see like, uh, I don't know, it just kind of has that feeling like more like for families. This is kind of a cool wall of apartments everywhere. Okay, so we're gonna kind of do a 360 here. Then this is the back side of the library. Let's go back. I guess you can also park in the library too. Dude, it's cold. Yeah, kind of a cool view though. I mean, like it's too bad that they didn't overlook something really amazing. They're kind of like stuck on this hill with a, with a library that's kind of a boring view. And I think that they're on a hill. So let me just take a look. And we're going to keep going that way towards um, towards that road. Yeah, they are on a hill. So again, they kind of like the other one too, like like this whole area, it's on hills, right? So um, like the ground floor is confusing. So this is a rooftop right here with play area stuff. Yeah, and even in the library too, there's like it kind of goes up on a hill, so you know, like the ground floor isn't really the ground floor all the time. You know what I mean? Here they use ground floor means the the one on the ground. This is called Escaderia de Iafat. That would equally be interesting to show case as well. Tennis court. So yeah, Escaderia I believe means stairs. I wasn't really planning to go down this way because that's the focus and I'm gonna but I do want to just kind of give you like context of stuff because when you come down here there's um all other kind of stuff again right so I think I just want to share with you just how it kind of changes so quickly from you know the university right there to um, this kind of uh, shopping area street then we're gonna go back up maybe maybe walk the stairs maybe not but I think it's all kind of part of that same area that we're at anyways. So we're going to go up and then there's the stairwell, Escadaria. So you can take the stairs of course and go up. And then down here, we're basically uh, some winds around and we basically have um, more tall buildings we are around here, right? So we're just kind of in a whole other world all together again. There's a sporting center. I think I'm gonna just go across real quick. So that's where we were just at, it was up there. And now you can see a whole other world of, of apartments and the university's like right behind it right there too, right? Restaurants even as well Sporting center stuff I was gonna just show you around the corner real quick then we're gonna go back up to our target street More apartments So we're gonna head back up to our Escadaria That's where that tennis court was at so we could see that from inside there so i think what i'm going to do is also include the escaderia the ear the all these walls of, of apartments everywhere okay so let's head back on up oh no the elevator we just missed it the elevator's going up dang it Okay, so I'll still push the button anyways. 
and I could just go up the stairs too. And I, I am going to call this both streets, so I guess I might as well give it that name. I didn't want to take the stairs, but sometimes you can get some different angles of stuff anyways. Yeah, now we can officially say that I took the stairs as well. That was a beef restaurant there. Got a cow. Okay. I think our street's gonna end pretty soon anyways. That's part of the library right there. Those giant windows. Check out that building. So yeah, that's all that sporting thing. And then, actually this one, I don't really understand it fully. The way that it's built. It looks like kind of an art piece, but, but not really utilized if it is. Definitely interesting though. You see a cemetery over there. That's a hiking trail up there. So that mountain is a type of grande. That apartment building is right up to the mountain too. And, uh, and if you go all the way down that, around that way, you end up going towards the ferry terminal. Galaxy Casino way down there. Apartments up here. Okay, so here's IFT. So basically they have um, several Universities have came up in the space. So that's Beco de Suarte. And what we're gonna do is come around the front of the library and basically just go around the block. Looks like three sides are all the Beco de Suarte. And then this would be a different one. And that's the library side entrance. It looks like they're also calling this institute. So this street is called Avenida Padre Tomas Ferreira. And this one is called the uh, Bacau Institute for Tourism Studies. And then that red building over there, I think is City University. They basically divided up the University of Macau campus into, I believe three different spots. I did walk in there. Maybe a year and a half ago with a camera. I'm not sure what I would have called that, maybe university area of Macau. And we're gonna, we're basically back up to the top again. So yeah, you basically got to see some apartments, the university area on this hillside overlooking the ocean. So while well, overlooking Type of central buildings, one side, ocean on another side. Yeah, if you were to walk up there, you'd have this whole view that goes all the way, all the way down. So that's our Chaga Street. And then if we walked further down, um, there's a big building in the way, but these buildings go all the way down to the ground almost. You take an elevator all the way down to ocean level. Uh, I'm not gonna walk around enough, but if, it, if I walk just past this building, you get another thing that looks just like this again. But that's a different street. And um, I wanna stay faithful to my street of Peco de Suerte. Okay, there's Peco de Suerte. We'll end it right there. COVID is over. We got Christmas music. It's December. It's 2022. And uh, we were documenting the streets of Macau, and we got another street for you right here. Chiquinha.
Шнинья, Шнинья. Думай, пусть дождь забудет меня.